win forever. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Emmanuel. 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 God is with us. Father Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. We thank you for all the grace. We thank you for who you are. Father, take your place. Holy Spirit, take your place. Let your mercy, your love, let your grace flow in here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please do have your seat. I want to thank all the members of the Synagogue Church of All Nations around the world. Emmanuel TV partners, all the friends of the ministry and the body of Christ. I thank you for your love. Thank you for your faith. Thank you for your steadfastness. And I thank you for your commitment. God bless you all. God bless you. I know it has been an eventful week for every one of us. But I stand here this morning to remind you some of the statements of faith of this mission. I mean as a church, what we believe. First we believe that the Holy Spirit works with the Father and the Son to create the world. The Son gave us his spirit. The Father gave us his spirit to make us like his son, Jesus Christ. And the Jesus Christ we know is the Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Ghost. He said to us, he encourages us. In that book of John 14 verse 16 and 17. He said, I will ask the Father. I will ask the Father and he will give you another comforter, another advocate to help you forever. The spirit of truth. He said the world cannot accept him because they neither know him or see him. But you know him. He lives with you and will be with you. We believe that Jesus Christ is a soul winner. That was what he came for. Lived for. Died for. And rose again for. God Almighty does nothing without his word. He speaks to us through his word by his spirit. We believe that sin points one to death and destruction. But the word of God points one to internal life. We believe that salvation is to be set free from sin and its penalty. And it's received by faith in the cleansing power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The cleansing power in the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We believe that every man, every man will have to give account of his life here on earth on the judgment day. And so my brethren, as a church, body of Christ, become. Become. Remain steady in this unsteady world. I encourage 
you to examine all things in the light of God's word. Examine all things in the light of God's word. And please, always remember, remember the word of God. The word of Christ Jesus to you. In that book of 1 Corinthians 13, from verse 4 to 8. It says that love is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoings, but it rejoices with its truth. Don't lose focus. Do not lose focus. Jesus Christ is our focus, is our roadmap. He stood for truth. He stood for love. You need joy in your heart. Did someone say, I need joy in my heart? You need joy in your spirit. You need joy in your soul. The synagogue church of all nations, the arena of liberty, arena of freedom, is a house of joy. It's a house of joy. And that's our conquering power. Joy is our conquering power. What were the words of Prophet T.B. Joshua? His last two words. He said, watch and pray. Watch and pray. You watch and pray and you will see the glory of God. I bless you all. I bless you. Emmanuel. Thank you very much. We have listened to a wonderful message this morning. And I pray it be a fruit in your heart. But it's never enough. It is never enough. As a child of God, you can never have enough of God's ways. And so we talk about goodness of God this morning. We talk about his kindness. We talk about his faithfulness. We talk about his healing power. Deliverance power. We talk about his salvation power. Let us talk about Jesus Christ. Say to someone, let's talk about Jesus Christ. Let us talk about Jesus Christ. So do open with me to the book of Matthew. The Bible according to St. Matthew. Chapter 6. From verse 9 to 13. And we are going to read together. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As you also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil ones. This is a prayer that has much in a little. There is a lesson in every part of it. Prayer that has much in a little. Remember that your heart is the prayer room. Your heart is the prayer room. And if your heart is the prayer room, you have to clean your heart of anything that is not of God. Your heart has to be free from anything, everything that is not of God. Bitterness. Anger, frustration, envy, jealousy, doubt, unbelief. Clear your heart from it. You need the joy of God in your heart. Knowing Jesus Christ is not only seeing his work. The Father, you know Jesus Christ. He is the healer, he is the savior, he is the redeemer. Not only seeing his work, but learning his ways. Learning the ways of God. 
Joy and peace is something that only believers have. Joy and peace is something that only believers, those who believe in Christ Jesus, have. And it comes from a personal relationship with Christ. It is derived from a personal relationship with God. Today, many may find happiness in so many things in the world. Find happiness in so many things in the world, but it's just temporary. Joy and peace is something that only believers have. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. It's in heaven. Prayer that has much in a little. There is lesson in every word there. Telling you to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing will be added to you. God's kingdom and his righteousness all other things will be added to you go choose the way of God seek for his glory his kingdom is real give us this day are daily bread you ask for bread only bread we do not ask for something you don't need And he gave you. You didn't ask for bread of idleness. You did not ask for bread of deceit. You didn't ask for bread of others. Then you asked for bread honestly gotten. Bread honestly gotten. Through constant dependence upon his divine providence. You asked and God gave you. More than you even asked. To strengthen your desire. Your determination for him. To renew your strength towards him. He gave you out of his abundant love. So that love can grow in you. And flow from your heart to others. God gave you. A Christian is known by his love. That is the will to give and will to share. Love is the greatest Christian virtue. The Bible said that he who does not love does not know God because God is love. And so, we must let love lead. Say to someone, let love lead. Let love lead. Say it again, let love lead. Let love lead. God Almighty has given you his love. He gave you his power. He gave you his light. He's showing you mercy. And uphold you in his hand. He gave you all these things. So that love can grow in you. To meet the need of others. And I say to you today my brethren. Whatever you claim to be doing. Whatever you claim to know. Without love it is nothing. Without love it is nothing. We have a lot of assignment today. We will continue with this message. But before then, I want us to pray this simple prayer of faith. Let someone say, Oh, come Holy Spirit. Oh, come Holy Spirit. Oh, Espiritu Santo. Fill me with your fire of love. Fill me with your fire of love. Lléname con tu fuego de amor. I need your power in my Necesito tu poder en mi vida. I need your power in my life. Necesito tu poder en mi 
vida. You are the vine, I am the branch of the vine. My life flows from you. Mon cœur t'appartient. And because my life flows from you, mi vida fluye de Help me to love. Ayúdame a amar. Help me to love. Aide-moi. So that it can grow from my heart. Para que pueda crecer en mi corazón. To meet others. God bless you. Dios te bendiga. Thank you. Amen. Yes, during the course of the week, 